Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Rachel Ray here. Today I have two unboxings for you. One is a new release from last week, and then the other is the sneak peek for this weekend. Lena wants to say hi as well. Um, so first I'm going to start with the new release from last weekend. If you've already seen it, you're not interested in my reaction to it, that's fine. You can skip on ahead, but this will come second. How is everybody doing today on this fine Friday? Uh, I hope you're doing well. I am having a, an interesting day so far. It has been uh, full of ups and downs, but this is a massive up because I have been waiting for a little while for this package, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. This one is Call of the Wild. It's a square diamond painting with ABs and it's 56 by 71 centimeters. So <laughs> look at the look at the new box and everything. Oh, it's so cool. It's got this shine on it. I hope you can see it. Looks like a checkerboard kind of shine. Brand new box. So cool. It's got the um I'm trying to see which one is it? Oh, it's Dream from JoJo's Arts at the top. So cool. <laughs> so let's get into it. Are you looking forward to this weekend? If you've been stalking the uh, the website, you might know what is already coming for the weekend, but uh, the post has been a little bit slow. So uh, that's why this is only coming in now. But look, look at it. There is one AB on this and it is, it looks like it's supposed to be a white AB. So probably the stars and maybe highlighting the light on the wolf's fur. I love this picture so much. So that is the sticker that has the inventory on it. This is your toolkit and it says right here what's inside. We all know what's inside so we're gonna skip on ahead and take this out oh my god i love diamond art club square canvases okay get it out of this sleeve and uncurl it Ooh, so there's an opaque paper here so who here is not a fan of the crinkling plastic sound because let me zoom you out a little bit we're gonna go for the wide angle this look at how big it is this is awesome thank you diamond art club if you don't like that plastic on the front of the canvas you can replace it with this obviously you need to have the letters facing upward because this is the non-sticky part but that's just an option and if you don't want it then you don't need to use it but you could use it in the future if you like it's super handy to have especially if you are wondering you know would wax paper work wax paper does not work on diamond paintings you need to have silicon paper or release paper um you can use parchment paper but it not all parchment paper is made the same that's why they started including it i don't know if it's going to be a um a thing that they keep forever but i do appreciate it thank you so here we go <gasps> Ooh, wow Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Okay. Okay, the AB is sprinkled everywhere. That is a lot of AB. Uh, it's all in the stars around the moon. And if you're wondering what AB means, it stands for Aurora Borealis. I'll show you in a minute, but it's got this shimmer that sparkles more than the other diamonds. Probably my most asked question, but oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And the charting is exceptional. I really like it. Oh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's have a look closer at the drill field. So here we go. So we have the drill field. It's very clear. And if you're wondering, yes, it is glittery. In here, can you see the sparkle, the shine? That's glitter. It's in the canvas. Amazing. Um, there are slight grid lines to help you see where to place diamonds. Um, the symbols are all typical of Diamond Art Club. I don't see anything different or unusual there. Um, and yeah, it just looks really good. I like it a lot. Uh, if you've been on my channel for some time, you probably are pretty familiar with these symbols, but I do get asked to look at them quite a bit, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> 
Another question that comes up quite often is what is up with this stuff? This, these are just air bubbles trapped underneath the plastic that's covering the diamond pa painting. There is no wrinkle in the glue itself. So don't worry about that. Don't worry. All right, let's look at these diamonds. So I'm excited. I'm super excited to get into the drills. Oh, and I forgot to mention there is an instruction booklet in there. So if you are giving this away as a gift or if you're brand new to diamond painting, it shows you exactly how to do it. And ooh, and there's different languages as well. And there's video instructions as well. Cool. All right, let's get in there. And have a look. See if it's, it's got the name of the painting on it and the model number. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of blue. So we've got 820, one, two, three big bags. 823, one, two, three, four, five bags. Wow, five big bags of 823. So we got 336, which isn't a far, it's a little bit lighter than 823, but it's actually really similar. It's hard to see it. Uh, one, two, three, four big bags of that. 797, so gorgeous blue, 334, 3325, and 775, beautiful, beautiful colors. We've got the off-white, 3865, 798, three big bags. If you like blue, you're gonna like, really love this painting, 799, 796, 37.55, 2.11, oh, that's so beautiful, 3.33, it's a gorgeous purple, 37.46 is also a beautiful purple, 155, kind of looks like lilac. Ooh, here we go, those are those ABs, oh wow, it's not white, they're a kind of a creamy green color. That's hard to picture. It kind of looks like key lime pie <laughs> with sparkly iridescent shimmer on it. Can you see that? That's what makes it special. The other ones don't have that coating, but these ones do. 3756. Look, that's all the 310. <laughs> nice. 210, 3371, 550, 208. 938, 917, and 3731. Really nice colors, lots and lots of blues. So if you have a friend who likes blue and who likes wolves, they are guaranteed to love this painting. And I'm so glad that there are paintings like this. I'm gonna scoot you out again. I'm so glad that there are paintings like this available because I know that there are a lot of men out there that like to diamond paint but sometimes the selection can be a little bit on the more feminine side. So this is a great option to have if, uh, if you're looking to give a diamond painting to that special person in your life who doesn't like girly stuff, <laughs> like dolls and stuff like that. But anyway, this typical girly stuff, I should say. Um, that is Call of the Wild. I'm going to clean it up and I'll be right back. Okay, Call of the Wild is safely back in its box, and now I get to share with you the brand new release for this weekend. I hope you're ready. So who out there is a Hannah Lynn fan? <laughs> I know there are a lot of you. Um, Hannah Lynn is releasing a new artwork. Well, Diamond Art Club is releasing a new Hannah Lynn, I should say, on Diamond Art Club this weekend. And if you're wondering how to purchase Ruby and Diamond members are going to get a 30 minute window in order to make a purchase since they do have that rewards status. And that is starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So you may need to Google what that is in your time zone. In my time zone in Ireland, 
It is 5 p.m. Yeah, 5 p.m. Saturday, my time. But you'll definitely want to check Diamond Art Club's site to see what time that'll be for you. So essentially, if you are not a Ruby or Diamond member at Diamond Art Club, your release time will be 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. And just know that I think it is my understanding, and I may be wrong in this, that they do hold a few kits back uh, for the general release. So if, um, if you think that they're all gone, don't worry. There may be a chance to get them during the general release time. Anyway, I imagine that this one's going to be pretty popular. So let's have a look. It is Mother Earth, which is a round with Aurora Borealis. Look how colorful she is. 56 by 76 centimeters. She is much bigger than I anticipated. Um, still the old box, but that's okay. I know that they're bringing them in and I'm so here for it. So let's get into this box and see what we've got. Y'all, uh, let's see. If you're wondering where the toolkit is, it's probably at the bottom of the box. <laughs> Oh, there's a sticker. My toolkit's really stuck in there. Come on. Ow. Don't give yourself cardboard burn. Uh, and then you can see here what's in the round toolkit. Very good. All right. Let's see. Here's the big picture. She's gorgeous. Wow. I love the colors. Love it. Night and day, forest and stream and lake and ocean and then the world on her belly. She's beautiful. Okay, let's move this to the side and have a look. It looks like we have one, two. We have two AB colors in this one, which is awesome. I always rip these and take them off and I don't bother putting the diamond paintings back into them, but that's just my preference. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. It's your diamond painting after all. Oh, there's another piece of paper in this one. That's great. And the drills. That has the name on them. The instruction booklet. And let's see what she looks like. <gasps> wow. Okay. That is a lot of black. <laughs> She's outlined in black quite a lot. Um... But it's so pretty. They, they're going to be like little tiny bits to fill in if you decide to do the black outline first, which is something that I usually do. But wow, look at these colors, you guys. There are 53 colors. That's a lot. That is a lot. There's still a lot of shading going on. So if you look at the individual elements, you can see that there's shading in the in the leaves of the trees here by the waterfall, over here in the forest, in the water. I mean, it's just really, really nice. Even the smaller details. Um, I think personally, I do think that this would look amazing in a even bigger size. Um, but considering <laughs> the size that it is and maybe even like, you know, the amount that one person can sit down and diamond paint, I don't blame them for making it this size. I still think it's gonna be gorgeous. And look at these mountains. That is so pretty. I really like this one, especially, you know, this would be great. <laughs> this would be actually really great for my little sister. She is expecting, uh, not in late June as I thought, but in July. Uh, so <laughs> this would be fantastic for her actually. I wish I could send it to her but we still have restrictions. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it is what it is. We have to get, get through it. Um, so the numbers one and two are the Aurora Borealis diamonds, but we're going to come back to that. I'm going to show you what the diamonds look like first. And here we go. I'll show you the, um, the drill field so you can see the difference between round and square. Here we go. So you can see that there are really faint gray circles around the symbols. And in some cases, there is no symbol. It's just green. With the outline, that's number 906. 
just something to be aware of. Um, that is something that is in some of the canvases. Um, but it doesn't seem to be much of a problem uh, as far as actually drilling goes. But if you are colorblind uh, in the spectrum, then yellow and green may give you some trouble. But other than that, it's it's quite nice. And I think you you would be able to make it out because there is a lack of symbol. But let's go look at the drills. Here we go. Beautiful colors. Look at all the different colors. Where does it open? Okay, here we go. So let's open it up and see what colors we've got. Let me actually put on this light for you guys because the afternoon sun <laughs> is making this difficult. So we've got this beautiful 907 in the trees, 996, 310, one, two, one, two, three, four, five bags. Wow. Five big bags. 995. Here's an AB diamond. This is white, 141. And this number is specifically for Diamond Art Club. Uh, you won't find the same number for Aurora Borealis Diamonds on other manufacturers' kits. We've got some yellow and orangey yellow, more blues. I'm just going to speed through these because I don't know how much you guys like them. We've got a straggler. Look. <laughs> 740. We've got some greens on their own. Nice. And then, oh my goodness, these are heavy as well. A beautiful mint. And if you're wondering how that happens, basically there's a machine that fills them like this. And it goes, and then clamps, uh, seals the bag. And that's how some, some of them get stuck in here as well. Uh, or they might accidentally cling to the side of the plastic and stay in the next bag. Just FYI. I don't know if you wanted to know that or if you already knew that already, but that's why that happens. <laughs> there we go. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look at that! <gasps> that looks absolutely otherworldly! Oh my gosh, I love that one. That is beautiful. Can you even see? It's such a rich, dark blue. Oh, that is gorgeous, y'all. I love that. Love it. We're going to find out where they go here in a minute. So 700, 803, 999, 992, 993, 992, 993. Okay, 754. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. 333. Nice. Okay, and now we're down to the smaller bags. Goodness. Look at this. It's getting warm in here, y'all. <laughs> it's also the day for everyone to be outside. 666. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Don't worry. Uh, ooh. Beautiful. Awesome. Gorgeous, beautiful colors. I love them all. Wow, thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for sending this kit. This is amazing. How many of you now want to go get this? <laughs> You'll have to be really quick with the fingers, y'all. So, let's have a look. We've got numbers one and two. Number one is the blue, and here it is. It's in her bodice, it's in the forest, and I can see it here in her dress, the skirts of her dress. Oh, it's so pretty here, down at the bottom, in some of the lake as well. Just beautiful. And then number two was the white one. So that's actually in the ocean here uh, in the you know in her on her belly it's in the waterfall and in the water here in the swan 
that swan? <laughs> that swan is all AV. <laughs> Cute. Um, and then also in like the, the foam, the, do they call that the flotsam? Asking for a friend, you know, where the waves crash. It's in the, the white parts here in the skirt as well. Where the waves are. <gasps> it's so beautiful. You guys, you guys. Oh, and there's AB in the, there's also ABs up here. Um, there's blue ones up here in the sky and then there's white ones here in the the fade between I'm guessing that's the setting sun it could be the morning sun uh and the nighttime in there gorgeous oh my gosh okay you guys so that is it for me today thank you so much for stopping in and having a look at this video if you liked it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up maybe comment down below if you have something that you'd like to share with me let me know would you be interested in this painting this weekend and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.